the migration waves of Byzantine scholars and emigres in the period following the Crusader sacking of Constantinople and the end of the Byzantine Empire in 1453 is considered by many scholars key to the revival of Greek and Roman studies that led to the development of the Renaissance humanism and science. These emigres were grammarians, humanists, poets, writers, printers, lecturers, musicians, astronomers, architects, academics, artists, scribes, philosophers, scientists, politicians and theologians. They brought to Western Europe the far greater preserved and accumulated knowledge of their own civilization. Their main role within the Renaissance humanism was the teaching of the Greek language to their Western counterparts in universities or privately, together with the spread of ancient texts. Their forerunners were Balaam of Calabria and Leonzio Pilato, both drawn from culturally Byzantine Calabria in southern Italy. The impact of these two scholars on the very first Renaissance humanists was indisputable. Collegio Pontifico Greco was a foundation of Gregory XIII, who established a college in Rome to receive young Greeks belonging to any nation in which the Greek rite was used, and consequently for Greek refugees in Italy as well as the Ruthenians and Malchites of Egypt and Syria. These young men had to study the sacred sciences in order to spread later sacred and profane learning among their fellow countrymen and facilitate the reunion of the schismatical churches. The construction of the college and church of S. Athanasio, joined by a bridge over the Via Dei Grecia, was begun at once. The same year the first students arrived, and until the completion of the college were housed elsewhere. Besides the southern Italians who inhabited ex-Byzantine territories of the peninsula and Sicily which were still closely connected with the Byzantine culture, by 1500 there was a Greek-speaking community of about 5,000 in Venice. The Venetians also ruled Crete, Dalmatia, and scattered islands and port cities of the former empire the populations of which were augmented by refugees from other Byzantine provinces who preferred Venetian to Ottoman governance. Crete was especially notable for the Cretan school of icon painting, which after 1453 became the most important in the Greek world. Contribution of Greek scholars to the Italian Renaissance Although ideas from ancient Rome already enjoyed popularity with the scholars of the 14th century and their importance to the Renaissance was undeniable, the lessons of Greek learning brought by Byzantine intellectuals changed the course of humanism and the Renaissance itself. While Greek learning affected all the subjects of the Studia Humanitatis, History and philosophy in particular were profoundly affected by the texts and ideas brought from Byzantium. History was changed by the rediscovery and spread of Greek historians' writings, and this knowledge of Greek historical treatises helped the subject of history become a guide to virtuous living based on the study of past events and people. The effects of this renewed knowledge of Greek history can be seen in the writings of humanists on virtue, which was a popular topic. Specifically, these effects are shown in the examples provided from Greek antiquity that displayed virtue as well as vice. The philosophy of not only Aristotle but also Plato affected the Renaissance by causing debates over man's place in the universe the immortality of the soul, and the ability of man to improve himself through virtue. The flourishing of philosophical writings in the 15th century revealed the impact of Greek philosophy and science on the Renaissance. The resonance of these changes lasted through the centuries following the Renaissance not only in the writing of humanists, but also in the education and values of Europe and Western society even to the present day. Dinoji and Akopoulos in his work on the contribution of Byzantine scholars to Renaissance has summarized their input into three major shifts to Renaissance thought. 1. In early 14th century Florence from the early central emphasis on rhetoric to one on metaphysical philosophy by means of introducing and reinterpretation of the Platonic texts. 
2. In Venice Padua by reducing the dominance of Averroist Aristotle in science and philosophy by supplementing but not completely replacing it with Byzantine traditions which utilized ancient and Byzantine commentators on Aristotle. 3. And earlier in the mid-15th century in Rome through emphasis not on any philosophical school but through the production of more authentic and reliable versions of Greek texts relevant to all fields of humanism and science and with respect to the Greek fathers of the Church. Hardly less important was their direct or indirect influence on exegesis of the New Testament itself through Bessarion's inspiration of Lorenzo Valo's biblical emendations of the Latin Vulgate in the light of the Greek text. Scholars Leo Alatius, Rome, Librarian of the Library of Vatican, George Amir Alsas, Florence, Aristotelian, Henry Aristippus, Michael Apostolus, Rome, Aristobulus Apostolus, Arsenius Apostolus, John Argyropoulos, Universities of Florence, Rome, Simon Artumino, Bishop of Gerarchi in Calabria, Basilios Bessarion, Balam of Seminara, he taught Petrarch some rudiments of Greek language, Zacharias Kalirgi, Rome, Launicus Chalcocondyla, Demetrius Chalcondyla, Milan, Theophilus Chalcocondylis, Florence, Manuel Chrysoloras, Florence, Pavia, Rome, Venice, Milan, John Chrysoloras, scholar and diplomat, relative of Manuel Chrysoloras, patron of Francesco Filelfo, Andronicus Conto Blackus Basel, teacher of Johann Riechlin, Johannes Christonisch Modena, Greek Latin Dictionary, Andronicus Callistus, Rome, Demetrius Sidones, Matthew Devaris, Rome, Demetrius Ducas, Elia del Medigo, Venice, Antonio Zepartos, Venice, scholar and poet, Theodorus Garza, first dean of the University of Ferrara, Naples and Rome, George Gemistos Plethon, teacher of Bessarion, George of Trebizond, Venice, Florence, Rome, George Hermonymus, University of Paris, teacher of Erasmus, Riachlin, Budius and Jacques Lefebvre de Taples, Georgios Kalafatis, Greek professor of theoretical and practical medicine, Andreas Musalis, Greek professor of mathematics, philosopher and architectural theorist, Nicholas Karliakos, Mathios Kamariatis, Isidore of Kiev, Ioannis Kigales, Greek scholar and professor of philosophy and logic, Ioannis Cotinios, Padua, Constantinos Kalakratis, Constantine Lascaris, University of Messina, Janus Lascaris or Rindicinus, Rome, Leonard of Chios, Greek-born Roman Catholic prelate, Nicolaus Lucanis, Venice, Maximus the Greek studied in Italy before moving to Russia, Maximus Marganios, Venice, Marcus Mushorus, University of Padua, Michael Tarconiota Marellus, Ancona and Florence, friend and pupil of Jovianus Pontanus, Leonardos Philores, an early advocate for Greek independence, Nicholas Karliakis was a Greek scholar and philosopher who flourished in Italy, Leo Zio Pilatus, he taught Boccaccio some rudiments of Greek language, Maximus Planudes, Rome, Venice, John Servopoulos, scholar, professor, Oxford, Nicolaus Sophianos, Rome, Venice, scholar and geographer, creator of the Totius Graretieri description, Nicholas Leonicus Tomaeus, Venice, Padua, Iacovos Trivulus, Venice, Gregory Tiffonas, Paris, teacher of Jacques Lefebvre de Taples and Robert Gaguin, Gersimos Fachos, Venice, Francesco Morolico, mathematician and astronomer from Sicily, painting, music, Marco Basso E.T., painter, Belisario Carenzio, painter, Napoli, Michael Damascanos, Venice, Crete and painter, Thomas Flanginis, Venice, funded the establishment of the Flanginian Greek School for Teachers, 
El Greco, the nickname for the Cretan painter Dominicos Theotokopoulos, Italy, Spain, Francisco Leon Taritis, Italy, Bavaria, singer and composer, Anna Nataras, Venice, first Greek printing press, Angelos Pizzamanos, Cretan painter, Otranto, South Italy, Janus Plausia Dennis, Venice, hymnographer and composer, Theodore Polakis, Venice, painter, Emmanuel Zarnes, Venice, Cretan painter, John Rosos, Rome, Venice well-known scribe, Antonio Vasilaki, painter from Milos worked in Venice with Paolo Veronese.